Bye bye Philippines and hello Venice, Italy. What is happening, guys? You're watching Mom do. Join us as we travel around the world. Okay, okay, okay. We really didn't fly out to Italy, and we're definitely still here in the Philippines. But in today's vlog, we're gonna be checking out the Venice Grand Canal Mall, where we'll be having an Italian experience without needing to pay an expensive plane ticket to Italy. Instead, it'll be a $2 grab ride from our place. And just in case you missed our last BGC vlog, let me bring you up to date. So we spent a week at Shangri-La BGC. It's so pretty. And then we were supposed to fly out to Cebu, but we canceled and we decided to stay a little bit longer. And now we're staying in this cute two bedroom Airbnb. It's about 86 square meters or 925 feet. Plenty of space for us. By the way, this is a rose kakapu. <laughs> Kaka, it's a cockatoo. Cockatoo. <laughs> this is me, Matt, my outfit, as you can see. Ooh. We have Noxy over here, which is a blue macaca. Macaw. Let's move on to the most powerful bird. A toucan, which is my dad, with all his guns. <laughs> Anyways, the hottest the last bird of one? all is mine. Okay. Very complicated bird over here. Definitely represents for CEO. <laughs> Just joking. And this is easy, our pet zebra. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Yep. Can't forget Tommy the turtle. Loving this jungle theme with a mix of Costa Rican African vibe. Loving this living room. It's so spacious. We've got comfortable couches to watch something on this ginormous TV, probably a 60 or 70 incher. And digging in this starry night type of a carpet. I like that they have decorative plants in every corner of this space. Plants, 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 and plants. We've got a cute little round table next to a cute little kitchen. Now let's go check out the room. Oh, by the way, digging these wooden wall panels. So bedroom number one, we have the kids' bedrooms with two twin beds, perfect for our twinsies. All right, so this place has two small bathrooms, one in the master and one right here. Very small, check it out. And you know it's a Filipino household when you have this. Tabo. A super big gulp cup. <laughs> because it holds 44 ounces of water, Joseph. I can really clean it, huh? Orcio, this is still dry. One tabo is equivalent to 10,000 rolls of toilet paper. <laughs> Do you use tabo? No comment. You know you're hurting the environment when you're not <laughs> using this, right? Why wipe your ass when you can wash your ass with the tabo? Alvin, Alvin, Alvin. Anyways, guys, now for the parents, we've got the cozy master. It's got a futon that can turn into a bed. It's got this cool rollout bed in case the kids want to hang out. And my favorite part is this view. Okay guys, that's the room tour. Now let's head out to Venice, Italy. And by the way guys, quick correction on our first BGC vlog. We mentioned that BGC is surrounded by five malls. There are five malls within this district. But it's actually seven. Forgot to mention two of them, one being the BGC Central Square Mall and the other one's the new Japanese mall called Mitsukoshi. I think I said that right. And also the grab ride is roughly about 150 plus pesos, which is I believe $2.50. Now back to you, Rocio. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to the Grand Venice Canal Mall. So the first thing I noticed is the entrance. It's all decked out in Christmas decorations, and above is the Lion of St. Mark symbol. And here is a fun fact. A Venetian tradition states that when St. Mark was traveling across Europe, he arrived at a lagoon in Venice, Italy, where an angel appeared to him and said, may peace be with you, Mark, my evangelist. Here, your body will rest. Oh my God, that's so many tweets. I've never seen so many trees, it's like Christmas Wonderland. Wow, there's so many 
many trees? You got one, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, seven. I can't even count them. I lost track of them. Too much, too much. I like this one the most. For those that don't know, Filipinos start decorating Christmas in the bear month. And that's September, October, November, and December. Whoa, that's a tree. <laughs> that's a tree. And that's a tree. Wow, I have been to the real Venice, Italy before, and I'll have to say that this small at first glance gives you a pretty good vibe of that. It's so charming! Elegant design and architecture is on point. The mall is about two to three stories surrounded by shops and restaurants. And I believe you also have an inside part which we'll check out later. And the centerpiece of this mall is this bluish Grand Canal which is so eye-catching and oh so lovely. And of course, it wouldn't be Venice without the gondola rides. Absolutely so romantico. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this mall was voted or won an award for most romantic mall in the country? What? <laughs> we're gonna be we're gonna be writing that pretty soon when it turns dark when all the lights are on. All right, this is the Rialto Bridge, inspired by the famous bridge in Venice and the Ponte de Amore Bridge. This is where you can place a love lock along this railing, like the one in Venice, Italy. It is believed that people who leave this token of romance along the railings of the bridge will be granted everlasting love. It looks like there's a lot of love in the air because this bridge is packed. We're now in Venice Piazza, which is inspired by Piazza San Marco in the real Venice, Italy. Towering over this open space is a replica of St. Mark's Tower, which is also in Piazza San Marco. It's also surrounded by some great dining options. I also heard around late afternoon between 4 p.m. 5 p.m. this area offers pigeon feeding. There are the pigeons. Pigeons are up there. Lights are starting to come on. It looks beautiful, but even though we're in Venice, it is still a mall, so we are gonna go shopping. The kids wanna check out the toys. Yup, and when in the mall, we go shopping, baby. Uh. And then afterwards, we're gonna ride the romantic gondola ride. You ready for the gondola ride later? Ooh, Just yeah. me and you? Really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we got some, um, what's uh, called, fifth wheel? Fifth wheel. <laughs> Over here? Third, third and fourth, oh, no thank you. Third and fourth wheel. Yeah. Nah. That should be fun with all the lights on. Hopefully they sing to us. Oh yeah. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Mama so mia. Sing to I'm singing to you the song of life. Mamma mia. My favorite stores are like Japanese stores like Sanrio. I love that. I'm definitely into that. That's why I'm so excited to do Japan after the movie. Hello Kitty everywhere. Hello Kitty everywhere. And you even got Hello Kitty detergent. So FYI guys, Philippines overall is very budget friendly and affordable. You usually get three to four times your money here, especially with food and some other merchandise. But when it comes to clothing, it gets quite expensive. So it's probably better to buy your clothes outside of the Philippines. Change your color to which one you want. Oh, this is pretty cool. It's game on, Knox. It's game. I know, bread, bread, hey, bread, bread. It's game on. Three thousand seven hundred sixty-five. Three thousand seven hundred sixty-five. I didn't do it. So, Nerf guns, pretty expensive here. So there's many different Italian restaurants here. We got Italianis. Is that how you say it? Italianis. Ah, Italianis, and you got Ponte. A Rialto, I believe that's Italian. Oh, this looks pretty cool. More uh, vintage style. It feels good in here too. Look at that. Hi. Very Italian. <laughs> Hello. Pizza. 
We got some uh, old school style articles here. I got the Cabernet. Here's the baby. The baby. The baby. The baby. The baby. What do you think, Max? What does it look like to you? It's um, it's a baby. <laughs> um, it's kind of, it's not really full body. It's like semi full body. It sleeps in a glass wall, but not. It's not like a thick wine. It's more like a watered down. I can tell because uh, wines that are syrup or thicker, like syrupy, are the ones that like have like chunks of wine. Obviously. You're right. What's it smell like? I can smell grapes. It's a very tangy smell. It smells like very strong grape. Very strong. Nox is a wine connoisseur, and he hasn't even taken a sip of wine in his life yet. Yeah. Salute. Oh, it's good. It's not bitter. Love it. Perfect temperature. I have got. Uh, Parmesan cheese risotto. I love risotto. Looks really, really good, and I love cheese. And I got minestrone soup. I haven't had this in forever. It's hard to find like a vegetarian soup, so lentil soup it is. Okay, guys, their pasta, no joke, is to die for. It's one of the best I've ever tasted anywhere. Mmm. I don't know what they did with that pasta, Can but... I, you I feel like it? when you like eat lasagna, like other lasagnas I've had, it's like very salty, too much flavor, it gets it full, it's too cheesy, you know, it's burnt. This one is right in the middle. It's not too salty, right flavor, not too much. What the fuck? Wee wee, just right. Wee wee. Is that how you do it? Is that French? <laughs> Usually when you eat lasagna, it's way too rich and you kind of get full pretty fast but this one here it is just right to mix with the, the I don't know what to do with the pasta but the pasta and the cheese with the bolognese 10 out of 10 right here no lie mm. I've been told by you know in the comments to eat with a spoon just like this yeah we didn't like the um, lasagna no, <laughs> it was one of the best lasagnas we've ever tried. No joke, it's so, so good. Yeah, thank you. So, it is time for the gondola ride, but first we're gonna go ahead and buy the ticket. And I heard after the ticket, we're gonna fall in line. Hopefully it's not too long. Okay, so it's $28 for the whole family, $7 per person, it's not that bad. When I went to Venice and I rode the gondola ride, it was a lot more expensive back then. And now it's about $100 per person, which is pretty pricey, right? Oh, here's the line. So it looks like there's a line underneath the Rialto Bridge. And it might be a long line. So hopefully we don't wait too long. Uh, 45 minutes, huh? 45 minutes. So the wait's about 45 minutes. So uh, we got to figure out what to do for 45 minutes. So while we wait, here are some fun facts from the kids. Did you know it's super hard to become a gondolier in Venice? And only three to four gondolier licenses are given every year. That's because you need 400 hours of training and apprenticeship to master the rowing, the turning, the backstroke, and the stopping. Yup, this all takes skill and balance. And after all of that, they still need to learn the Venetian history and landmark. But learning how to sing is not required. Nope, that's just a bonus. That's all folks, now back to the Ride. So I recommend, uh, so what, once you get your ticket, go ahead and go underneath the Rialto Bridge. Give them your ticket, set your timer, and come back five to ten minutes before you uh, depart from your gondola ride. And if you guys don't know, I'm a claw machine master. Okay, you guys got 30 tokens each, okay? Let's go. It's one token per game. Are you going to win one? Jumping jackal 
어, 뭐 가자. 어! 아우, 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 We went on a gondola ride, and our gondolier did not sing to us. So hopefully this one does. No worries. If this guy doesn't sing to us, I'll be singing. <laughs> All right. Hello. Hello. Your name? Fernando, Fernando or Bernardo? Fernando, Italiano, Italiano. Fernando. Italian. Say hi to Fernando. Fernando. Fernando, the gondolier. Mucho, Fernando. Bien bonito. So, uh, Fernando, last time she was in Venice. In the real Venice? The real Venice. Oh. The gondolier did not sing to her. Oh, yeah, because they're, uh, it's a uh, highest salary here. Not that. <laughs> I'm not a good singer, sir, mom. When I sing, it was raining. Uh, but I try later, mom. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> this is beautiful. Look at this. Wow. So how long is this place? It's uh, about, about 10 to 15 minutes for it only, sir. 10 to 15 minutes? Uh, it's what, 200 meters, you would say? I don't know what. what it, looks like, here, it looks like it's about 200 meters. <clears throat> and by the way, I don't think in the real Venice you see penguins. No. Or polar bears. There were not any penguins or polar bears. No. No. Yes. <laughs> only in Philippines. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Fer Fernando is a competition in singing. But I got, you know, I got Andre Bocelli in me. <laughs> I know we're not doing a duet. <laughs> You're taking it with us. <laughs> Joyful and triumphant. Oh, come, oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Come! <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh, come, let us adore. Oh, come, let us adore. Oh, there you go. Oh, he's singing, guys. Bellaria Pesca, Varenja La Pesca, De Bella Casa Nariona, Tal Sole, Mana Tu Sole, Giu Bella Ine. Sein pronti a te, o sole, o sole mio, sein pronti a te, sein pronti a te. Grazie mille, sorry for Bravo, bravo! Okay, Fernando just took Filipino romance to another level. That's amazing, bro. That is amazing. Wow. Wow, what a romantic date. Oh. X name. That was That was awesome. That was awesome. Oh, great. Similar to cheese spaghetti macaroni. Now we're going back to Philippines. We have been in Italy without using passport. Muchas gracias, amigos, amigas. All right, I would have to say it is very hard to replicate this experience anywhere in the Philippines. Zero. Definitely no ordinary day in Manila. Fernando just made it very special. Yeah, thank, thank you very so much. much. Thank you. Make sure to subscribe, like, hit that notification bell to never miss another video. Woohoo! Ah!